Hi everybody, I uh, I am the technological throat gas ga throat spasm throat spasm. No, <laughs> we're not we're not starting this off on a horrible horrible. Well, we already have. So, anyways, hi, I'm Drumbo. This is uh, strictly speaking, it's uh, it's definitely the 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 spirit and the feel of a uh, retro game. This is RPG shooter Star Wish. Um, going for the, uh, the special ending, which you actually have to unlock everybody's endings, and then you get to, uh, then do the thing. Um, yeah, all endings, I guess I should call it. Um, let's go ahead and jump in, since I've taken long enough to do this. We go ahead, new game, confirm hard difficulty, because that's what you're going to do, and let's start that timer. we got to skip a lot of dialogue. Oh, no. Uh, and that's just how you play the game. I'm ready to go. Except I also want to turn on mouse. The mouse is on. Okay. Yay. So... This is a Flash game. It was released in uh, 2011. Um, very, very much in the spirit of, you know, R-Type, Gradius, uh, Pick Your Poison, games such as that. Um, variety of weapons, uh, sub-weapons and regular weapons that you can use as you're uh, piloting around all over and warning the Firebolt is approaching. So we, it's the game's briefed me on everything that's going to happen, so <laughs> we can just go ahead and die to the Firebolt. Uh, so... It is also an RPG, and that's your main character. His name is Deuce, because he's the second in command, and make your own poop jokes as you want. So, we have our offense, which is just your weapon defense, which covers a lot of things. I'll explain it as we go. Agility, yeah, don't really worry about that. So, intellect and luck are the fun ones. That's experience and money boost. It also maximizes your ability to get a crit with your weapon, uh, as well as the damage, and also your shields and regen and items dropping. So we want to max those out. Any leftover points, we're going to dump into defense, because we're already doing the glass cannon build. Uh, not exactly pretty when you start destroying yourself every which way but loose. You kind of don't want that. So, in order to unlock the endings, there are seven playable characters, or seven, not playable, there are seven characters in the game. As you can see, I only have six right now. We have 30 in-game days to talk to everybody. I think it's seven times? Uh, not good at math, but we'll just go with it. And you only talk to two at a time. So, we have routed out the uh, people that we're supposed to talk to in the right order to be able to unlock all of their individual endings. Doing so gives us the special ending where everybody decides, this is crazy, I'm just going to go ahead and go to the beach. So, we want to go to the beach, is really all it is that I'm saying. This is Dead Eye. she enjoys uh, testing her weapons on us. Uh, I mean, for us. No, she actually tests them on us as well. Uh, finally, we're going to go to the hangar because, yeah, and we're going to purchase a couple of modules to make our ship faster. And let's just go ahead and jump right into the first stage proper, where I'll get to fight an actual boss. And I, I have not figured out what was going or what is going on with that slight amount of lag, so I'm going to drop the quality to low, and hopefully it's not prohibitively horrible to look at. So... What are we talking about here? I don't know. Uh, RPG shooter Star Wish. Great. Um, as you can see, general, like, stats. You already saw the weapons that were down here at the bottom, and unfortunately, since I blowed up against that first boss, story-wise, I then landed on a planet nearby and was stuck there for months and found a new engineer for the ship and then brought her along with us when the our ship eventually, our mothership, I guess, eventually caught back up, found me, rescued me, she came along. Her name is Jenny. She's wonderful. She loves just building things. It's what she does. Um, and is also a genie, you know, because the name would probably not throw you off. By the way, if you haven't played this game, you probably should, and I'm going to spoil the heck out of it, actually. It's not really much of a spoiler. Like, most everybody in the game, it turns out, is a literal magic-wielding genie that can grant wishes. <laughs> You're just some guy out in space, like, oh, I gotta go collect this and do that, and this is what's going on. Okay, cool, I'm down with all that. What do you mean, wishes? I think you're gonna have to... Could you... Do you, do you mean, like, uh, if you think real hard and then something like... Actually, yes, that is what that means. No, 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 but that's like, you know, fairy tales. No, 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 those are real. Wh what? What? <laughs> so the game takes a turn from, like... You know, science fiction to high fantasy very, very quickly. <laughs> Good times. Good times. I have a fluffy boy. Well, I mean, I do. Um, I, there should be no cameras on right now, so you should not be able to see my cat. But, <clears throat> anyways. Um, sorry, just occasionally looking away from the shooter to see what's going on in chat. Probably shouldn't do that too often. Um... <clears throat> 
So anyways, boss time? Boss time. I spent too much time outside of the stage and ranting a bit, so uh, let me see. Cursor on A? Did I write down which A? I didn't. So I'm going to assume it's that A. Okay, I found the dead spot. Great, so this boss will try to track you up and down. He'll fire those bullets, and he's got the two big rape lasers that will stay on the same sections of his body firing at you. But if you just highlight the letter A... Um, Oh, the care. Yeah, yeah. I guess I guess Deuce is a uh, a fluffy boy. If that's how we want to look at it. Um, like I say, it's also a, an RPG shooter and a visual novel. <laughs> so you know, good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, Jenny and Tessa. So there's Jenny. She seems antsy about something. And there's uh, lots of dialogue to go through in the game. It's. It, I'm not kidding when I say it's a visual novel. And also a dating sim. Just just go with it. Just go with it. We're not going to think too hard about that. Is there anything I desperately need to get in the way of weaponry right this second? Probably not. <clears throat> I mean, there is a better machine gun, which is uh, decidedly better than the one it is that I have. So that's, what is that, 45 to 55? So that's prohibitively just better. I will do that. I will spend my money, even though I should be spending my money on modules. Uh, don't need the health mods. If anything, I want to have more engine mods. So, great. That's all fine. Let's go to the Asteroid City. Where the rocks are heavy and something is pretty. <clears throat> yes. No. Yes. So this is the game. It's, you know, shooter. Yes. Uh, the weaponry has levels that go up to uh, your maximum level. And each individual level is not exactly a high watermark to be able to uh or it's not a high watermark not a high increase in damage and crit and all that jazz however since you can be buying them in bulks of 5 10 20 like you can buy a weapon never and then suddenly see the level 61 version at the end game that 61 version is going to have a lot of extra stats to it so pretty good then those get modified by your normal stats which is the other reason why we don't really worry about doing offense at all um defense you, you're not going to be able to continually buy good things to upgrade it. Um, you're going to get, like, mods to your health, uh, which is also percentile-based. You'll get um, mods to your shields and how fast they recharge. Um, just things of that nature. But you can't just go grind one level and then get in a 10% boost to, <laughs> to a weapon. Well, you can, you can do that to the weapon. There's no way you're going to be able to do that for... Uh, just your actual defensive skills, so I hope you're good at shooters. I am not. Part of the reason I like this game is that I can rely on the, uh, I can rely on, you know, the RPG aspect to overgrind a little bit if you need to. Um, <clears throat> already falling behind, but that's fine. I've been doing a lot of explaining. <laughs> Yay. So, we're still, still rolling around with just our pea shooter and, uh, bombs. Uh, you, you, there is so how would you know how does an RPG with things like accuracy and crit rate work for a shooter well that's very simple obviously if I'm shooting you it's going to hurt uh, it's going to do damage that's how it works you have a crit rate and occasionally you'll see crit great that means it'll do double damage or up to double damage you actually have to boost up <clears throat> the uh uh, I think what's it, what, in the intelligence rating, whichever it is. One, either intelligence or the other one is the one that uh, also increases. I'll just fly right into you, won't I? Uh, the crit damage. Uh, you can browdy a skip straight through laser sometimes. If your speed is high enough, uh, you'll just ignore frames of things trying to hit you sometimes. And uh, you'll fly through them. It's great. Very useful. I'm going to skip all the dialogue. Uh, luck is uh, uh, no, luck is crit percent, intellect is crit damage. That's what I'm trying to think. Great, and then defense to have a little smidge more, not die. And the cafe, it should be. Where's my notes? Dead Eye and Johnny. Look at that, it's Dead Eye and Johnny. Hey, look at that. Who knew? Huh. Yay! <clears throat> and that should get me on the right path. Blah blah blah. She does eventually have one of the f one of the best lines that I enjoy in the game, which is, I've heard love is the most powerful uh, power in the universe. I would like to harness it into making a weapon of mass destruction. Um, nothing I really need to worry about getting there, although I will need... No, I don't need anything to be saved up right this second, so... 
Almost got the engine mods to their max. I'm gonna jump into the. Is, do I really do the wilderness first? I guess. Oh, the wilderness is the living heart. Of course, I did the wilderness next because it's the easiest boss of the game. Um, <clears throat> so, like I was saying, occasionally you'll shoot things and you'll see crit like that, and that's very cool. And occasionally you'll see well, what it said in gray there, grays, which means you didn't miss your target, but unfortunately. Um, it only did half damage. So you can mitigate that through uh, eventually like talents and just the raw skill points. <clears throat> Some weapons are inherently going to have a higher miss rate, so it'll be a graze rate, so to speak, which is a shame too because they're also like just the best. <laughs> it's like the best weapon in the game. You literally take giant metallic saw blades that boomerang back and forth in space. Those are the best. They have a giant crit rate, they have a giant top end, and they also have a really high graze rate, so sometimes the top end is honestly probably hitting just average damage for anything else in the game and still absolutely pummeling everything that uh, it comes across. So it's you use this crappy little gun until you get the laser, and then you use the laser until you get the saw mines, and then you use other things somewhat sparingly. Like yeah, look, I've got this this quad shot, and you can actually line it up so that you're hitting multiple uh, times with. The, why did I run into you? Uh, multiple shots with the quad shot, so really, really gets that damage ramped up pretty quickly. The problem is you kind of have to be over right up in their business to be able to do it. And I'm not a fan of that, so I'm just going to... Also, it's a level one weapon. I have not powered it up. So instead, I'm going to, you know, uh, blow things up with the regular pea shooter until I get a better anything. Um, which won't be for a bit, unfortunately, but that's, you know... Eh, eh, eh. Game ain't too fun if you start off with everything. I say that knowing there's a new game plus, and also the the, the stat ramp ups are pretty large, so that's also a reason why. Oh, I took actual health damage now. Okay, so you've got shields, and then you've got health. Um, shields recharge health unless you take a talent. Do not. So okay, this is the living heart. Oop, I need to go slightly lower. Great. So this uh, game was originally coded. Um, I tried. It didn't work, man. Um, the game was originally coded using the keyboard, <clears throat> and then uh, was the added ability to use the mouse was brought in. Um, it was not coded very well for the mouse, so that boss is supposed to slowly drag you in across the screen, but it doesn't register the mouse. So instead, <laughs> quick look, where am I at? Ginny and Swig, Ginny and Swig, Ginny and Swig. Um... She has a new module for me. Get good. I don't care. Sorry. All due respect. Um, anything like five or higher? No, I don't care. So I'm not going to worry about buying any of the Oh, well. I do need total of ten. Oh, total of ten mods, not weapons. Well, I cleared that. So let's just uh, let's get up to 15 on our speed. Speed is maxed out. And now onto the Fortress City. Yay. <clears throat> so as we're unlocking everybody's endings... As you see, so far we've had no issues talking to everybody at least once. Good for us. That's fun. Um, Jenny, the engineer, really, really, really wants us to not die. So for, like, the first half of the game, so to speak, just don't die, and you've unlocked her entire tree. Not exactly difficult. Swig and Mare, you just talk to them every time they show up, which sometimes people show up two days, sometimes they show up three days, sometimes they show up four days. So it's probably a good idea to route those out correctly. <laughs> Some of them, uh, your childhood friend <clears throat> who was brought on board of the ship with you, well, onto a previous ship, and then you both signed up to work on this ship. Um, she is also the resident doctor. She really, really hates seeing you get hurt when you are out in space. So she wants you to buy a whole bunch of mods They'll help, you know, defend the ship. You know, more speed, more defense, more blah, 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 all that stuff. Uh, yeah, which, yeah, it makes sense. The bartender really wants you to be financially secure, so he wants you to not spend money. So you kind of also have to then keep in mind, all right, do I have enough money to... Oh, for the love of God. Thank you for that. I didn't realize I said anything to cue the 
uh, echo, but I guess it did, so okay then. Let's try to not say things that will make my dot try to talk. I don't need backseat commentary. Anyways, the bartender wants you to save your money. So, before buying all the, all the stuff that you need to buy, you gotta talk to him first. And then you can go into the shop and buy all to your heart's content. Then there's also, obviously, the, the, the weapons lady. Dead eye. She, she wants you to buy a lot of weaponry. Of course she does. So it's actually like total amount of levels across all of your weaponry added together. And now my... Why am I getting a text? What's happening here? It's too early in the morning for most anybody I know to be awake and talking to me. What am I doing? Oh, hang back, dodge, bullet spread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I eventually get something cool or cooler in the way of the ability to... Uh, it's hard to, to bullet dodge through those, so I shouldn't do it. Um, yeah, like that. In the event that something like that happens, I can just go ahead and turn on... Uh, there we go. The, the overdrive. Yay! Yeah, I need a crit secondary. Yay! Oh no, not the Federation. Um, so now my secondary weapons, those bombs that I was dropping, can crit. Which is terrible for those bombs, but I eventually get good items and they will be fine. I just did the Wilderness, it's Ginny and Swig. Oh, that's not... No, I did... What? Hang on. Deadeye, Johnny, Ginny, Swig, Mayor Tessa. I'm off by one! Of course I am! I'm looking at the wrong freaking locations. Oh, because I'm after Fortress uh, City. So, yes, this should be the laser. Yay! Blah, 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 blah. And there's immediately a big old giant upgrade to it right there. I'll go ahead and take that. Thank you. So, yeah, uh, you can see accuracy is uh, pretty much the laser will never miss, but it has no crit rate. But by boosting up my intelligence, I have a crit rate, rate now. Thank you very much. I would like that. Uh, so, after this, I do the rocket snail. I'm going to need weapons level above 10. Well, that's easy enough. Dump the rest of these into... Well, having extra health is good. Reduce is not horrible, but, I mean, it's so low, It's, it's that 3% really doesn't matter. The extra health, though, is definitely helpful. So, great forest. Great value forest, a little more like it. Ha <laughs> ha! Great. So now I have a laser. It just... It mangles things. <laughs> uh, fire super... You can see it's actually a series of lasers that are being fired very, very rapidly. Rapido! Uh, and it'll try to track my horizontal... or my vertical movement on the screen so I can use it to fire behind objects if I'm fast enough. <laughs> um, and I'm just not fixing the lag on my end at all. Oh, well. I have no idea what is causing that, but I don't like it. <laughs> um... So yes, <clears throat> what am I doing? I'm rolling around with a better weapon. That's what I'm doing. Hey, and I need to. Should be trying to like shoot things more. Probably a good idea. What do you think? Those guys are big and beefy. Oh no! Uh, da, 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 da. Having a much higher, you know, intellect and luck also just makes you level up faster, which in turn gets you higher powered weapons faster and the money to be able to afford it. So, <clears throat> I mean, you would think, why not just go for the weaponry after that? Or I can spend 30 seconds on the stage and get another level up and then just buy the appropriate weapon. <clears throat> it's, it's just prohibitively faster. By the time you get to the end boss, well, at that point, unless you're looking at, you're, you're not going to outkill him before he kills you, so you, you pretty much have to have that little extra amount of defense. So, I don't know, enjoy the music while I drink some coffee. <clears throat> so I just did um, grinding against um, the bottom there, because as you can see, I, I, had, uh, I was eating into my own shields there, Whenever you take damage, it speeds up how quickly your overdrive will, uh, the, the bar will fill up. <clears throat> Which is nice. Um, <laughs> you don't want to take damage, but you can, air quotes, take damage by having the shield uh, get blown up a bit. Because, the, I mean, hey, that works. Uh, and then allow it to refill, because it will refill over time. So you can do that. That works. 
Yeah, I was gonna say, and it's after four, I think it is, where he's gonna try to shoot me. Rocket Snail. <clears throat> it's the worst insurance mascot, I swear. There's the captain. She's in the game briefly. Uh, yes, what am I doing? I need that, I need that, I need that. Oh boy, go to the cafe after the Rocket Snail. It's Ginny and Deadeye? Yeah, it's Ginny and Deadeye. What am I going for? What am I having? Helps if I go to the hangar. She's got more stuff. Uh, I think I'd rather have the shield mod because I don't want to take health damage. Thank you. Got any weapons that I care about? Uh, I will need to get some upgrades on like the bomb or the spread or something. So let's just go ahead and take this bomb here. No, let's let's just do this. That's about eleven. It's not a huge amount of money. I can keep my numbers up, and I can spend the rest on these. Um, after this, I'm going to have to have 50000 stored up to be able to uh, get Johnny to actually want to talk to me because that's just how he works sometimes. Is the Acid Swamp or the Coral Swamp? Oh, notes. What are you doing to me? Acid. Gotcha. Great. <laughs> uh, all right. What's that? Oop. Got that weird lag spike again. I do not like that. Da, 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 da. So yes, uh, the overdrive button makes you invincible, and although that big giant beam covers up the uh, the entirety of the screen, um, <clears throat> you uh, you do still have the hitbox for your ship. Um, so while that's going on, uh, at least your shields are going to be recharging. Uh, your health, if you take a, uh, there's eventually a feat for it that your health can recharge too. Um, which is useful, no doubt. So that can be happening while you're invincible. And most importantly, since you still have a hitbox and <laughs> the enemies on the screen are not invincible, yeah, you can just ram into them. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Yep, okay, well, I was going to try to use the laser to sling behind that wall there, but I was not very good at it. So now I'm just going to wait for my shields to regenerate. I took a little bit of health damage. Doesn't really matter unless you're playing hardcore mode. There is a there is a mode in the game. If you go into the uh, oops, if you go into the cafe and you uh, click on a monitor in the background, it will turn on hardcore mode. In which case, you have one hit point, always, permanently. Anything that reduces your shields to zero and then does any hit point damage, you die. So. It's a true shooter, then. It's a one-hit KO. Uh, not counting the shields. So you don't want to do that. I don't know if you've already noticed, but I'm not great <coughs> at shooters. Um, which is funny, because I, I speedrun like three of them. <laughs> I, I think I mostly just do it out of spite. Why do you play this game? Because it bothered me when I was younger. Y younger? You were like 30. That counts as younger. I'm going to vape, and I'm going to have to fight the Wisp. Oh, I ran into a stray bullet there. Didn't mean to. And you're almost dead. All right, all right, when you just get into doing your crazy circles there, isn't it? <clears throat> That's it, we got it! Yeah, thanks, boss. Moving on. That is Arika. She has psychic powers. She can kind of see the future. Uh, is it Johnny and Swig? Tell me it's Johnny and Swig. It's Johnny and Swig. All right. <laughs> I just keep forgetting. I'm going to look at my notes. Okay, look at that. I got bombs that fire forward. That's already better than what it is that I had. Not seeing anything that I want to buy here, but I won't buy those V-Bombs. Uh, power them up a little bit. Why not? Spend more money on modules. <clears throat> it's got to be Coral, right? Yeah, it's Coral. Okay. There we go. So these are... Now instead of a regular bomb, I have these. Which are, again, they're not fantastic, as you can see. But at least I can fire up and down, so I get that little extra oomph of coverage. Um, also, funny thing about how the uh, stages were designed in this um, is that the uh, some of the some of the sub weapons, and I really should ask X Denon about it. Um, 
some of the sub weapons will splatter right against the uh, the the bottom there, as you can see the the V bombs do. Meanwhile, uh, if I can find a good point of demonstrating it somewhere on the map. Uh, meanwhile, these bombs, yeah, here we go, will fly right through. And then the third sub-weapon will also fly right through, and the fourth one will just crash into the background. So, I don't... I, I, don't, I don't know. That's, uh, <laughs> that's how it was designed. So I'm not going to argue with it too much. But it's interesting. that You start getting into layers of strategy about swapping weapons at uh, certain points of time because it's just useful. Assuming I can remember to do them at certain points of time, because eventually you get eight regular guns and four of these special weapons. Listen, I'm gonna do what I can, but I make no promises. Eh, that bomb fires a little too far forward. I think I always screw up and try to get that guy with the bomb instead of the V. I, I keep wanting to say V trigger. No, Kenny. No, no. <laughs> That's right. I, w I didn't go to Street Fighter. I went to wrestling because I said V trigger. <laughs> Uh, where's L Rock and Enemy? They'd appreciate it. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? They would not appreciate anything I say. Anyways, what are we doing? Um, gonna be fighting the Submersible, I think. Should be. His entire thing is, unlike other bosses, he's not tethered. He just kind of chases you around. No, wait. Uh, yeah, no, that's what it is. Okay, um, he's just gonna chase me around. And then I have to book it past him. You couldn't really tell by watching. But, um, because he actually can just go all the way to the left and or right. Um, <clears throat> but the movement in this ocean stage is actually a lot slower. So, you can't really tell because I maxed out my speed. So that's not a thing that you would, uh, worry about. And you want to do that anyway so that you can start, like, skipping through, you know, sections of stages. <laughs> Or I mean walls, not like, it's a shooter. You're not going to speed up on those at all. Ginny and Tessa. Ginny and Tessa. Yay, yay. Anything new in the hangar? Good. Nice. Bye. Nothing new in here. Although there is a new laser. It's not a huge upgrade. What are we talking about here? Uh, it's not horrible. It's not horrible. I'm going to take it. Might as well. <clears throat> Rest into the hangar. Um... Because I need my total weapon levels above 30 after this stage. So is that 15, 20, 25? Yeah, we're good. Okay. Uh, regen. That's not horrible, but I'd rather just have a glut of armor. Uh, we can go for 10 and then an extra second faster is not going to do. Yeah, okay, we're just going to go shoot that. Okay. Great. Uh, Tundra and then <coughs> Ruins. Ruins is last. Ruins sucks. We're not going to go to the Ruins. Uh, so stock photos <coughs> were what were used in the background. Those are great. We like them. And then actual levels that were designed. I'm going to take the upper route because I have bombs that cheat and go through the floor so I can still kill things. <laughs> Science, kids! That's that's how bombs work, right? They uh, can just phase through objects unless it is an object that you, the pilot, deem as hostile and then it will explode. That's, um, <clears throat> I went to a science class once. Oh, they did not like me. There's only so many times you can ask the word what in so many ways before they, they start to realize, oh, oh, he is serious. Oh, no. Oh, my faith in humanity is gone. Uh, that's what I like to do. Broaden people's horizons by letting them realize, oh, no. Oh, he's real. Oh, mm. Medic! <clears throat> so what are we talking about here? Right? Covered pretty much everything there is in the game. I think. So I'm going to vape and let you listen to the music. Unfortunately, one track. The, there were two other tracks for stages. Uh, musical tracks. And they were too large. The game wouldn't fit on the congregate anymore. <laughs> so, unfortunately, you can find them on YouTube. Uh, you can download the entire uh, soundtrack uh, I guess album for free. It's a great, great soundtrack. I listen to it every Wednesday, and I have for the past nine and a half years. That 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 probably reflects more on me than the soundtrack, but it's really it's a great soundtrack. So, anyways, you listen, I vape.
crystal dragon. He shoots bullets and he drops things from the sky. He occasionally charges at you, I believe. That might be only on the, the harder uh, difficulty. I don't but I've got enough speed, so if he tries to charge at me... I've also got an overdrive activated, so... If he tries to charge at me, I don't think he's gonna... Okay, no, I think we're good there. Great. Yay! Everyone, the captain's gone from the bridge again! Yes, that's, uh... Not good. Yay! Crystal Dragon. After that, Mare and Deadeye. Mare and Deadeye. Great. You're never gonna see Mare in the game. She is another pilot. Um, <laughs> okay, it's not good when she's here. Alright. Crush. Which is a fine enough weapon. Is that a... Oh, no, I bought the... Yeah, let's have a bunch of lasers, guys. Sounds fun. Uh, it's, it, again, it's it's not bad, but it's just not a big enough upgrade to justify getting that over that. So I'm going to dot. We're going to go back to the hangar. Buy some modules. Go ahead and just max out, reduce, since I've got it, so I might as well. <clears throat> I unfortunately now actually have to do the hidden ruins. I do not like the hidden ruins. <clears throat> oh, did I get, uh, I got some spread guns, so this will be a bit of a longer boss fight than I wanted it to be. Um, I don't even have enough cash to be able to buy a better one of those anyways. Um... <laughs> So I should have done that. I didn't do that. Okay, that's that's fine. This is okay. Yeah, look at them crit. For all them damage. The weapon, the laser is supposed to be just nice and consistent. It's not supposed to crit. <laughs> so giving a crit is kind of busted. <clears throat> Anyways. So, the, uh, the boss of this stage... Whoa, whoa, what the hell? Whoa, whoa, what, whoa, what was that? Why did you stop moving, sir? <laughs> Didn't like that at all. <laughs> uh, remember, don't die is one of the things I have to be doing to unlock all the endings. I don't you, you, you doing that to me. I'm not entirely sure what any of those words were supposed to be. Sorry, I had to stop and crack my knuckles. Excuse me. <clears throat> anyway, so each series of ten stages, we're, we're on number, excuse me, nine, um, and the tenth is the super boss, um, scripted, of course, it's just kind of what you do, uh, so you, you wind up fighting those first nine bosses three times, they get harder each time, and they also get, uh, on the third time through, they get another special ability, because <laughs> just stats aren't enough. Let's make them harder. Why not? Um, yay. Well, I guess I can show off the crush. It's, uh, it's kind of fun. <laughs> it's, it's not bad. It's probably, like, the third best weapon in the game from the sheer amount of damage that it's going to be doing. Um... Which is definitely useful. Anyway, here's the big angry router of doom. Here's the problem. Its weak spot's the green dot that lights up. I don't know which one that is. And the second you hit it once with anything, it'll swap to a new spot. So I could try... That actually hurt me. I don't like that at all. So I could try to play, you know, normal and just try to pop shot wherever it might be. Or I can just use the spread gun and just keep firing. That one actually landed a hit on me. That was garbage. Um, yeah. There we go. Gradius skip right through a laser occasionally. That's why you want maxed out speed. There we go. No damage taken. And we just keep firing all willy-nilly until effectively we kill the big angry router of doom. Uh, it's rapid? Is it rapid? Yeah, I was going to say it has to be rapid. There's no way it's not. Okay, so... Uh, oh no, it's a capital ship. So there's the earth wall. Uh, kind of like that boss that we blew up to in the introductory stage, uh, except it's the good guy version. Uh, but the good guys are also hunting us now. You'll have to play the game to understand the plot. What am I doing? Hidden Ruins did that. Jenny Johnny, Jenny Johnny, Jenny Johnny, Jenny Johnny. Blah. <laughs> Ow, my brain. You have a new mod for me, which is accuracy. Very nice. I want that. Um, after this, I'm going to have to have 100k in the bank. I've 
pretty much are going to cover that. Uh, and then, you know, uh, no, I already did that because it's the one I just did. Great. So I'm going to need mods. I need a total of 30. Uh, we are not at a total of 30 yet. Also, before I go up against this boss, I want a better weapon somewhere. Maybe. God, that, that's the best you got? That sucks. How about the V trigger? Nah, it's not really worth it either. And I'm not going to use the crutch. So I'm going to take what little I can get out of that laser. I'm going to buy, I guess, two mods. That's Oh, I'm above 30. I forgot there's a counter. Great. Good at counting as well. Uh, whatever. Let's just go fight this thing. I'm sure it'll go well. <laughs> Step right in and find the mouse. So yeah, it's, it's pretty much just, just like the, the starter stage boss. Um... So he's going to have lasers in the middle, he's going to have those two bullets, and if you have to, see now I can actually hit him from below like that, and try to avoid some of the, those shots that are coming at me, in the, whoop, or I'll just duck right back into him. Let my health restore a bit, that's, yeah, that's why you want the, the V trigger. I could be doing the same from above and be using bombs, but he doesn't go nearly high enough for it to really be worth it. So, just take it safe, and, or not safe I guess safe and slow and blah 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 and eat that in the face. I don't know why I keep defaulting to Fraggle Rock. I just do. But he's pretty much dead. Yay! Great. Turn to base. So the captain uh, heroically dies out in the middle of nowhere and sends us off to some coordinates that we have to go to. Um, <clears throat> Earthwall. Earthwall. Swig and Tessa. There's Swig and Tessa. Okay. Good. Just want to make sure I'm still on the route because every time I freaking do this, <laughs> ah, there it is. You think a slot play will be useful in space? Why not? <laughs> Saw mines, and there's none in the shop. <sighs> of course not. And see, now there's a laser worth its salt. Uh, you you actually do still wind up using the the uh, uh, the laser really until you get long shot. Saw mines are great. But, I'm going to go ahead and take that for now, and then we'll just keep buying more mods. Let's go ahead and get that accuracy up. Alright, accuracy is maxed out, and then... I mean, regen just makes your, your shield come back faster, but it's also tied to your, your uh, intelligence. See, at the start of the game is at like 12, and it's already up to 16, so... I'm just going to keep boosting the maximum amount of shields, because that's probably a good idea. Uh, so yeah, th this is the best weapon in the game. <laughs> also, because it'll fire behind you. So there's a number of times when there's like an enemy that you just couldn't kill or whatever, and you just the pathing is wrong. Yeah, no, you can. It, it, that guy's gonna die. <laughs> it's gonna come back to get you. Uh, and the the disgustingly high crit rate uh, uh, and damage from it offsets the. Uh, it offsets the the graze rate, your miss rate, so to speak. Uh, you're just going to absolutely decimate things with it. Now, we are in the second round of all of the stages. The stages themselves are going to be different, but the bosses are going to be the same. So this is going to be that giant floating uh, Bespin looking place that we were at before. The one where if I hover over a letter on the approaching message, I'll find a dead spot and be fine. Um... That changes the third time around because he starts throwing ships at you, like these guys. <laughs> Literally just kind of chucking them to anywhere on the screen. And contact with one with uh, as low defense and level, in theory level, that you will be at by the time you get there. Yeah, it can one-shot you. <laughs> so you can just be, I'm fine, this is fun and great. And <laughs> what do you mean I died? Why? Because <laughs> the game is mean. <laughs> Uh, I like it though. It's uh, if you're choosing to come in here as under leveled as uh, I, I choose to at that point of time in the game, but that's on you, isn't it? So, yeah, I can go ahead and be uh, firing off these wrench here. Why not? When you can see it, the the powered up laser is doing a, about the same amount of damage as the regular <laughs> saw mines, the level what level one <laughs> saw mines. <laughs> Uh, versus the 23 laser. Uh, and of course, crits are doing double there, but I mean, yeah, occasionally you'll get those grazes, so you'll see half the damage. Oh no. I don't know if the saw mines can even actually reach the boss just yet. I think I take a bullet here if I'm not careful. 
Yeah, so don't want that to happen, but then the next one whiffs, and then we're set. Great, so I'm going to have some more coffee then. All right, coffee number one is in the books. <clears throat> I got a coffee number two for this second series of stages. And we keep... You have to keep pushing up your intellect, otherwise your crit damage will drop down compared to uh, your other stats. Which kind of sucks, but that's just how it goes. Great, what have I done? I don't remember. Uh, it should be Ginny and Deadeye. Ginny and Deadeye, is that correct? Yeah, Ginny... Uh, so I haven't bought enough weapons. I don't know what's cheap. Well, there's more... Well, there's a big old sawmine right there. Hedge our bets. And then you're going to tell me you have more mods. Yeah, so I can evade slightly. That would be fun. There she is. Look at that. Hey, what's cracking there, lady? I say it's got to be the ship grave. It is the ship grave. Okay, so... Top end of 95, top end of... Well, yeah, the low end on the saw mines is uh, uh, the, the the top end for the uh, the lasers. So it's already outperforming. It's just incredibly low range. And we eventually get a feat that fixes that, that gives you much, much longer range to your weaponry. Oh, it also passes through anything on the screen, whereas the laser will be stopped by it. Saw you are throwing giant saw blades in space. Did you think there would be no clipping? I hope so, because you, it's ludicrous enough. You might as well have the no clip attached to it. <laughs> uh, good stuff. Excuse me. That was more of the controlled cough. I could feel one was coming. So I went ahead and did it myself. As opposed to whatever might have weirdly happened reflexively. And then I might have been coughing for, I don't know, years. Who knows? What is the what in the who? Etrian Odyssey. I am. I have no idea what you're talking about. I apologize. So we've got the laser, nice, fast, consistent damage. We've got the saw mines, which I, I pretty much have to be th this close to the edge of the screen to use effectively, but they are very, very effective. Um, they they absolutely mangle stuff. Like that rock, I pretty much knew it was dead, yeah. And even if things get past me, they fly backwards too. It's fun. You know, logic in my space games. Which revolve around uh, wizardry and making wishes, which uh, turned a, n a largely non-sentient creature into having to force itself into giving itself sentience in order to be able to effectively grant wishes better for the copious amounts of people that were trying to make wishes. And now that thing has uh, gotten a taste of what humanity sounds like and wants to kill all of us. That's the plot. <laughs> Uh, so we're, you know, a third of the way through. Let's, more than a third of the way. Let's go ahead and talk about the plot. <clears throat> so you're rolling around. You're trying to, uh, you are a member of the Space Pirates. And you are, you know, flying around in space. Each one has a star shard, a literal chunk of a star that they all carry around, uh, each one of the Pirate Lords to just, really, it's just kind of their thing, but, like, you know you found a Pirate Lord if you come across somebody that has a Star Shard. Don't know why that was a gold split, but I will take it. Yeah. That was weird. I could have put more points into Luck and Intellect, but it seemed to want to let me. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, crap, what did I just do? I don't remember. Ship grade. Mare and Johnny. Oh no, I need 150. I ain't got oh, I ain't got 150. Oh no. What am I doing? I gotta run into another stage uh, real quick to get a bunch of cash. <laughs> Cause I need to be able to talk to Johnny. I wanna talk to Samson. No, I wanna talk to Johnny. No matter talking about. So I gotta get 150. Preferably without dying. I wanna see money drops. And I'm not getting them. Come on, guys. I picked this stage because it had a lot of mooks right out of the gate. I was hoping you'd be dropping monies for me. Oh, I guess it was the previous stage that was the one that had all the money, wasn't it? Oh, well. I shouldn't have to be replaying anything here, guys. Come on, what's happening? Okay, there we go. Great. Escape from combat. Return to base. All right. Go to the cafe. And there's Johnny. That's what you want to see. Ugh. 
well, that was pretty, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, still using the laser for now. That's well, that's a plus one, so I'm not going to do that. What about the crush? You got anything cool for crush? Yeah, you got a five. That's not really worth it. You got a spread at 21. I might as well buy it now while I'm thinking about it. Um, ooh, yes, missiles. Yes, please. You have... Oh, I can't afford it. Why are you not letting me afford that? What's happening here? Because oh, it's 75. I was thought it was 40. Whatever. Okay, well, we've got the next weapon that we wanted to have. Um, what am I doing? Jungle maze. Sorry. <laughs> just losing track of everything mentally. Great. So, now we have uh, weapons that just fully fire forward. That extra DPS towards things in general. We're also going to have to swap between, you know, the... the, the what on earth is happening? Pause! What on earth is happening? Why are you stuck? I am not going to have you die there and cost me the run. What is... I don't know what the heck that was. That was weird. That was real weird. I did not like it. Like, how are you getting stuck on things? We're, we're gonna take the top route, dude. I don't know what the heck was up with you. I guess I should be taking the top route anyways. I don't know why I would have been taking the lower route. I'm sure I'll eventually remember what the reasoning was behind why I would take the lower route. But since I don't remember what it is right this second. I don't know. That was... that was Again, I, ha I haven't gotten to the final dialogue tree for Ginny. Since we're going for all endings, you have to unlock that. In order to unlock that, don't die. Game just threw out, just uh, absolutely tried to throw away the entire run on me here. Like, come on, <laughs> don't don't you dare, game! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm on the bottom now. I did not. Um. Wow. So collision detection in this game can be interesting sometimes. I think I'm more surprised about the fact that I didn't die, but look at my health right now. Ooh, I am. Well, now I'm now I'm excessively nervous. Game, why would you do that to me? Why? Why would you do that to me, the nice person? Playing this for people during Retrothon. Why? Why? Just why? That seemed extremely rude. Uh, can we go back to the yes, the forward firing now, please? And I'm gonna have to eventually try to figure out a good spot to take these guys out. Great. Okay, so at least it's the living heart, so I don't have to think about this. This one, just don't get hit by that bullet. Woo! Well, we made it to that stage. Ah, uh, game really didn't want me to see the end of this stage, but we did it! <laughs> oh, goodness. What on earth was that? <laughs> oh, I guess that was the maxed out. Okay. Uh, Jenny and Swig. Jenny... Yeah, okay, so I'm not even at the end of her dialogue tree yet, so we're just going to keep moving. Um, oh, by the way, there's hard mode, or sorry, extreme mode, and I'm going to turn that off. <laughs> we're not going to do that. Crit mod! like the crit mod. Good stuff. What do I need after this? It's 40 total mods. Okay. Well, then that's covered. We can go ahead and, uh... <laughs> Honestly, I should probably be boosting up the evade. <sighs> and then weapons lab. Don't have powerful saw mines yet, so I would have liked to see missiles show up here, but you don't have any. Oh well, well then we're gonna do this. Great, we are set on the evade mod. Wouldn't mind the crit mod, but uh, it's fine. I could be stealing from the shields right now. I don't think I would have survived that last stage if I had done that. So it's never gonna go into the neon city. And then after this is when we get long shot. Which is when we finally just move on to using the saw mines pretty much forever. Yay. Excuse me. 
yeah, so these special weapons, th these will collide with uh, uh, the terrain. Words are hard. I don't know, it's early. Was it? Well, it's not early for me, but... So I don't know why I'm making that argument at all. Anyways, how we, how we, how we doing? How's, it, how's everybody going? Uh, I assume that uh, everybody here is wide awake because why would you ever sleep during any second of uh, Retrothon? By the way, eat it, Moe's. Eat it, Moe's. Eat it, Moe's. One of these days, I'm going to find a place called Joe's. I mean, not like... The closest that we have here in Kansas City is Joe's KC, which is fine. Formerly known as Oklahoma Joe's. Always known as... Dude, they got some bomb barbecue up in that place. I mean, it started out as a gas station. That's 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 how you know it's the quality. Like, you find a gas station that has the full smorgasbord of, like, chicken, uh, fried chicken and bar uh, barbecue pulled pork and whatever, and all the sides, you got it. You know it's going to be probably the best meal you're going to eat that day. So, I mean, you got to. You got to do it, right? And so, you know, th there are a number of places all around uh, the metro area here uh, I have found that have just... Oh yeah, we, we, we set up a, a steam table and uh, we got a couple ovens in the back and this guy's really good. You, you, you look and there's three smokers outside. The Not people smoking, I mean like <coughs> food smokers. You're like, oh, yeah, these guys, uh, these guys are so desperate to be able to show off their cooking, they don't care they'll do it in a gas station in the middle of nowhere. Which means uh, there's, some, there's some care involved. Uh, they're pretty good. So you gotta try it. Like, if you find the one that sells tamales, like, just a, on a little stand outside of the place, that dude is hardcore about serving you tamales. That's going to be some good tamales. You got to do it. That's just going to restore my shield. Hey, look at that. Oh, look, more shield restoring. Hopefully I won't need it. Oh, my God. Just keep, keep giving me all the shield restores, then. Well, okay, those are overdrive. Yay! Uh, long shot, please. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, what am I doing? Keep boosting up the stats. <clears throat> what do I need? Mods, 40. Weapon level, 50. So do I have Dead Eye? Well, I do have Dead Eye. Look, I got both already. I like it. Uh, new weapons? New weapons. Uh, <laughs> the charge gun. Not really going to use that ever. Uh, saw mines. Well, that's a giant upgrade to that, isn't it? And still no missiles. I was hoping for more missiles. That's kind of annoying. Uh, I don't remember what the average is that I have to get all of these up to. Well, I can't even afford that, so it doesn't matter. Great. Can I get any more cool stuff in here? Just, just the one. All right. We'll take a little extra crit. We'll speed this up a bit. Why not? What am I doing? I already forgot. I'm supposed to go to uh, for forest, forest, forest alive, forest alive. Go to the forest alive. We are using saw mines, which now travel decidedly further. <coughs> I don't have to hug the edge of the screen to be able to use it effectively. Uh, so we really get to use that crazy damage. Oh, these guys! I should probably be using the laser. It's an understandable. Oops. Uh, Mistake on my end. I'm trying to remember to swap like to the re the the appropriate sub weapon that could actually hit things at certain points on the screen. Otherwise, just just let them all explode in a giant haze of glory. I don't know what these things are. I don't I, I don't think they're manned. I'm pretty sure they actually specifically say that a lot of these things are just unmanned drones coming after you. Uh, and then in the third section of the game, it is prohibitively nothing living. It is being created by the mad imagination of a giant wish-granting creature the size of a galaxy. And you fight only his face, because that's the only thing that will fit on the screen. Don't don't think about, don't think too hard about everything that it is that I'm saying right now. Just, 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 just go just go, just go for the ride. Just go for it. Alright. So, uh, as per usual, I'm not going to sit and vape because I'm a filthy degenerate and you can just listen to the music.
I have the music very quiet, so I can only... I, really, I'm only hearing, like, the bass and going, God, am I at the right part of the song to whistle along? I'm probably not. <laughs> You'll note the stages, actually, uh, are the exact same length every time, unless you happen to hit pause at any point of time. The reason I bring that up is because you'll always get to the boss and warning at this section of the music. Hey, who knew, right? <laughs> Alright, Rocket Snail. He hits harder. He still sucks. Is that two on the mouth bullet? And then three on the mouth bullet. And then he's gonna do one more in charge. Or no, that was the charge. It's four and charge. I keep thinking. I keep overthinking it. It was four. I said it was four. I still did it wrong. I don't know why. <laughs> four and charge. One and two and three and charge. No, so there's, there's, there's a fourth. Whoa. Okay, is this the solo Johnny? This is the solo Johnny. I always hate it when you only see one person on the screen. You're like, oh, what did I screw up now? <clears throat> oh no, I saw Johnny looking depressed. And we move on. <laughs> Seems rude. Feels rude. Still, I want better missiles, guys. What are you doing in here? It, it reloads a different group of eight out of 12 things, and there can be duplicates. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, saw mine 26. The 32 is a nice upgrade, but I don't desperately need it. I was really just hoping for missiles. So I'm just for mods. Because um, I got to get to 50. Not 50 immediately, but. I'm gonna need to, to get there. So we're gonna max out crit, we're gonna move on to item mod, and... I don't remember the stage. Is it the swamp? Is it the stupid swamp? Oh, God, it's the swamp. It's the wisp again. At least the, the wisp is decidedly easier because I have... The, the saw mines can hit behind me. So there's that. And that guy tr just tries to avoid being on the same uh, X axis as you because he's a butt. Hello. Let's pick a pick a pick the bomb, please, so I can blow those guys up. That would be mucho appreciante, si vous play. Look, I speak English and bad English. All right, let's 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 just let's just rip that bandaid off. That guy is still alive. No, that's a different one. Great. So nee, 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 nee. <laughs> get too close, he tries to shift, but I'm far away now. Oop. Uh, Maybe I should stop trying to uh, hug enemies vigorously. Doesn't uh, doesn't work well. Not uh, not for my overall health, that is. Could you, sir? Could you go in? Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm using the train against you. <laughs> Great. I don't even know what, uh, what to say anymore. What's going on? What's happening? All that uh, good fun times. Or just good times, if you're a fan of saying dynamite. Um, just watch that uh, documentary about uh, All in the Family. Uh, not yesterday. It's a couple days ago. It's pretty good. Never thought I'd sit there and watch a thing about All in the Family that lasted two and a half hours instead of watching like five episodes of All in the Family but eh, it was entertaining sometimes you want the entertainment of the show itself and sometimes you just want to get into the the skinny behind all the stuff uh, behind it I did not realize the fact that Carol O'Connor played Archie Bunker for like 15 years like All in the Family was not on for 15 years but he just kept coming back for other stuff like come on man it's just it's it's okay you can do something else. <laughs> yeah, see, so half of this fight is, you know what? I'm not even going to worry about trying to hit the Wisp. I'm going to line up my shots to hit behind me. Oops. Or I'm going to accidentally run into the Wisp. Well, you don't want to do contact with enemies. It can... It hurts a lot more than bullets, so don't do that. Don't do what Donnie don't does. Okay, Marin Swig. Marin Swig. So Swig, big drunken panda, is uh, the uh, hello Deuce. Oh boy, uh, Johnny. Uh, he apparently speaks with a excuse me with a Cockney accent. There it was a barking spider. I don't know if you all heard it. 
Ah, uh, scatter. Also great. Well, I guess I'll just use those instead of the missiles. Well, now you, well, you got them both. Look at that. That's awesome. I'm going to power them both over. Hey, what, you, what, you, what am I talking about? Uh, I'm going to need one module after this for the next stage. How oh, darn. What a shame. So let's go ahead and get that item. Yay. And that was... Whatchamahoosit? Ocean City for the Submersible. <clears throat> but I do have a... Uh, a new special weapon. This one ignores the terrain, and it's it's not as powerful as the missiles, but you fire a whole bunch of them really rapidly, so you just start blanketing the, the front end of the screen with um, <laughs> a lot of projectiles. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a shoot 'em up a little bit of a bullet hell towards the end of the game, so I'm just going to return the favor right back at you. We are really, really far underwater now if we're looking at Atlantis. That is a giant city walled off under ice. That does not sound like a vacation place I would like to visit. Not just for the last phobia parts where uh, I, you could not get me to go down there if you gave me all the money in the world. <laughs> no thank you. And now you want me to be buried under ice while I'm at it. Look, if you're just gonna threaten me <laughs> just... just you know, just, just punch me in the face at that point. You don't have to go to such extreme examples to make me curl up into a ball and cry. Hell, you ask nicely, I might just do it. <laughs> so, yeah, there's a little bit of action going on around here. <laughs> uh, I'm going to drink some more coffee. Because, you know, the joys of being able to play a game one-handed means you can be drinking coffee, you can be smoking, you can be... Slapping that idiot who's next to you and he says, I can't believe you've done this. Which I just imagine is Johnny in this case. Well, no, that's rude to Johnny. Who am I kidding? We like Johnny. He's a good guy. He has the best ending in the game. So anyways, coffee time. And since I don't have to worry about swapping any sub-weapons right here, I should probably be dodging bullets, though. Those That might be uh, useful to me. Let's get that shield back up. Warning. Warning. Alright, so same as before. It is the submersible. Hello, mouse. What are you doing? Slowly tracks towards you. Fires things you can blow up and things that will try to blow you up. So we're just going to kind of guide him down there and then run all the way back. Good thing about the saw mines is that it'll get behind me. As do those little missiles that I just purchased too. They fly fair amount backwards. So you can hit things with them. It's fun. Great. Got that. Got that. Keep that defense up. <clears throat> and we did the submersible. It's Ginny and Tessa. Well, that's Ginny and Tessa. Oh, look at that. That is the finale of her dialogue. Uh, again, Everybody has lengthy dialogue in the game. Oh my goodness. Okay, 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 I get it! <laughs> oh. So she's, uh, plot-wise, she's, uh, she's not doing too good. Um, oh, that was supposed to be Tessa, not Deadeye. Oh, those, oh, that's fine. Those two can flip-flop. That's fine. I've done this before. I'm always an idiot, but that's fine. Those two flip-flop. Because I have enough to be able to get Deadeye... <laughs> That is not a problem. Ow, my back. Ow, my back. Um, Mulamon's not bad, but let's keep getting uh, better weaponry, hopefully, possibly. So my saw mine's at 26. Anything good? Well, a 36 is pretty good. Uh, <laughs> let's take the better damage. Um, might want the spread, too, just to hedge my bet. Oh, I can't afford it. Never mind. Hedge my bets against what's his butt. I haven't bought anything for charge yet. And I don't care, so I'm not gonna. I can't afford any more of these, can I? I can get the move on. Those pay themselves off pretty quickly. Um, excuse me. Uh, ice cavern. Yes, no, sorry. I'm like, what am I doing? I don't even know. Alright, so I did get this gun. Pretty powerful. Of course, it's hilarious if you, if you want... To just get right up in somebody's grill like that. You're going to do rapid fire damage, but it's gonna be not very strong. So it's an okay weapon. It's it's alright. You don't you don't wanna bank on it doing much for you. 
so what are we talking about here? I know, like, t t 20 minutes ago, I said, let's talk about the plot, then I didn't. All right, um, yeah, no, space pirates out in space, running from the Federation. They're led by the, uh, the seven pirate lords. Each one has a chunk of a star. And there's somebody that has been doing a, um... Oh, hell. What is Malcolm McDowell's character's name from uh, the Star Trek movie? Uh, the, the one where he's blowing up planets and suns, really just suns, to be able to, you know, dump himself back into heaven. It's it, Pretty much it's that. Um, somebody's out there doing that and also in their spare time collecting the star shards because they make them more powerful and are able to blow up more things, such as an entire system, the system that the panda bear on our ship is from. So his planet and everyone from his race is gone. That sucks. <clears throat> we eventually find out that person works for the Empire. Uh, it's one of their high-ranking generals. They were on. They were the one in control of that ship that blew us up at the start of the game. Um. And they're collecting those the star shards because those are the literal leftover chunks of a planet that used to be inhabited with nothing but genies who would spend all of their days fighting over petty things like, I'm going to wish for this. Well, I'm going to unwish that from you. Well, now I'm going to re-wish it in and also make your face look like a pie. And just back and forth, how it goes, all that jazz. Soren, thank you. Ugh. That guy is the one that killed Kirk? Come on. Couldn't you kill Picard instead? Yeah, I said it. I like Picard of the show, the Picard of the movies. He does not need to be an action hero. He was renowned throughout the galaxy as a negotiator. You, Outside of Lux, thanks Dragon Dark, you do not negotiate with fists. That's not how that works. It is Johnny this time, right? Yeah, Johnny, and here's the Tesla that I was supposed to do last time. Okay, weapons lab. You got anything new? Yes, the wave gun. There's the wave gun. It's it's literally the wave gun from Metroid. You don't use it. I'm going to buy that. I'm going to need that for the city manager thing of Mahuzi. And we're going to need more modules, because why not? Let's get that moolah up. Yeah, all right. Um... Forgotten runes for the monolith. You can use the charge beam. So here's the wave gun. It's literally the wave gun. <laughs> it also completely ignores uh, the terrain. Not horrible, but since this does that and much better, we're not going to use it. Um, you can use, and I didn't power up the charge gun at all, so I guess I'm not going to use that against the, the boss, the big angry router of doom. I could use it if it was powerful enough since it's one hit and then it's going to rotate to a different weak spot. I don't really feel like doing that, so we're just going to go back to using the spread shot when I get there and then just hang back and avoid things. <clears throat> I mean, saw mines are okay, but you, you wouldn't really want to mess with it. Yeah, and if you're able to line up your hit so that it, the saw mine just hangs out on the, the hitbox of an enemy, oh, they, de they dead real quick. <laughs> so anyways, uh, yeah, the, uh, the enemy commander who was pulling a Soren. Soren or Zorin? Soren, yes. Zorin was, you know, a, a writer on, uh, Cracked. And now he writes for American, American, American guy? American dad. The Cleveland dad. Family show. I don't know, my brain hurts. Yeah, no. Um, <clears throat> he's pulling a Soren. Yeah, she is pulling a Soren uh, because she is desperately trying to uh, create a portal back to a place that shouldn't exist. You know, a world full of genies and literal wish-granting powers and all that jazz. And she's getting closer and she's been collecting more of the star shards. Um, our engineer there, uh, uh, Ginny, who is also a genie, she has uh, been trying to collect the ones that we had without us knowing it. Because our captain had one. She was a pirate lord. Swig had one. He's a pirate lord. We managed to find one more somewhere out in the middle of space. I don't remember where. I think it belonged to the pirate lord Kitsune, I think. Don't hold me to it, though. I don't remember. Anyways. So we have three of them. Uh, unfortunately, she has four. 
and her, it's kind of exponential powers, and she's baseline more powerful than Ginny anyways. So they're just hanging out in the middle of space, just kind of fighting, <laughs> while we're finishing up our business out here doing this stuff. Good fun times. Yeah, see, I'm glad that I actually got a powered up uh, spread shot here. That's, that's what you want to see. Uh, crap, I forgot. What is it? Is it overheal? It's overheal. 10% of health damage taken as the shields. Oh, farts. I think it's overheal. I don't remember. Power crit's not horrible. Uh, I'm going to take the overheal because I don't remember what it is, so I'm just going to do it. I, I, I don't know why it's not in my notes. It's weird. Anyways, yeah, they're just hanging out in the middle of space. By the way, it's Neferini and Ginny. So they're just, they don't need ships anymore. They're powerful enough that they're just out there fighting. Unfortunately, Neferini is more powerful and has force shards to uh, our erstwhile characters three. Oh, it's just a swig. Just swig. Great. And yes, by the way, swig is also a pirate lord, in case you didn't uh, know it by my saying it earlier. <clears throat> Ah, oh, no saw mines? That's garbage. None of this really strikes my fancy. I'm going to want to get some levels into a wave. Uh, and after the Firebolt, I need a total of 60 mods to get uh, your, my sister off of my back. Okay, so this boss, I'm not going to need the moolah. I'm not going to need items. I like the rest of those. How much health do you get off of that? Oh, that doubles. No, that's... Okay, so I had uh, that much. <laughs> Actually, let me just double my health outright. Let's just go ahead and do that. That seems like a that seems like a safe decision. What do you say? So this is the boss that we died to at the start of the game. We're a little bit more powerful now, so we should be able to go ahead and beat it uh, somewhat handily, unless I start flying into things real stupid like. It's still by no means a quick fight, and the only reason that we're technically able to beat it is because uh, the captain of that ship, Nefreedy, is not on the ship. She's out in the middle of space just kind of duking it out with somebody else. Hey, you know, sometimes sometimes you just gotta leave, leave your spaceship and enter the cold vacuum of space so you can effectively have a, a, a pissing contest. <laughs> you know, that's, that's just... Oh, don't do that. That's sometimes... Sometimes it's just how it be. So I'm going to go ahead and actually uh, blow that so I can get some more shielding back, dump some damage into you. Shields are almost right back online. See, I like it. Good stuff. And the shields are gone. So I probably should have taken more shields. Maybe more regen. You can beat the Fire Volt at the start of the game. You actually get an achievement for it called Anachronism. Because of course you have. Yay, look at that! And so she then beats up the other genie and takes all of the gems, all the star shards. Um, <clears throat> and has taken us to where the planet used to be. And uh, it's the end of time and there's nothing but rocks. That's not good. Marin Tessa. Marin Tessa? No, Marin Deadeye, because I swapped them. Because I'm smart. <laughs> So, there's a hidden weapon that will occasionally show up in the shop. Before I do one of these stages, I have to have it, so that's fun. Uh, let's get Okay, great. Um, I can go ahead and... I'm going to keep five in that for now. We're going to do uh, item moolah. That's pretty good. See, I'm putting nothing in regen. We're already up to 22, just by having stats. I'm not going to complain about that. All right, I need... Uh, 300,000 after this one that is uh, delightful I think that extra 5 health is the one that lets me avoid getting one shotted by the uh, the city manager I could call him the city manager that's not his name What is? it's uh, the drone mothership you know by Chris Traeger he's, he's gonna throw ships at me and he's gonna tell me stop pooping Gonna constantly address me as Deuce. Double point, you know, all that, the good stuff. Yeah. yeah. All right. 
And now enemies are going to be a lot more powerful, and I would really like to get another round of... of, um... What you who's it? Uh, Overdrive. And I got plenty of shields. I just have to grind against a safe portion of the map, like that, a little bit. And that'll help too. Boop, boop, boop. Oop, nope, don't take the hit. You don't want to take the hit. You just want to let your shields get blown up a bit. Take the money. There's the shield, so I can do bop, bop, bop. Ow. Grab that. Shields are back up. Great. <laughs> and I'm nearly back at full on the overdrive. Yay. So now that we've been, uh, now that we failed effectively, and Neferidi managed to soar on her way into this section of space and time that shouldn't exist, oh, we followed her through the wormhole, and we're here too. And yeah, much to her chagrin and frankly everybody else's, we've discovered, uh, yeah, the planet was destroyed, and any and all genies have to return to that planet. <clears throat> Uh, every so often to restore their life essence so to speak or they die uh, so every other genie in existence right now is like oh so we're all just dead great everybody on the ship is like yeah so how do we like you know uh, how do we get away from all this and not die because things are still out there and trying to kill us and we don't like that um, yeah in order to do that you have to locate the uh, you're gonna have to locate the uh, thing that's making all the stuff that's trying to kill us and kill him first. So, in order to grant wishes, there is uh, a large sentient well, not sentient at the time, there was a creature um, known as Iblis uh, <laughs> who would be, would be the one somewhat intelligently granting the wishes. Uh, this has to be Tessa, and I don't remember the other one. Oh, it's Mulan. Yeah, Johnny. Great. Tessa, Johnny. And so that was Neferidi, by the way. She is now <laughs> on the ship. She is our, our engineer. We're like, what are you doing here? <laughs> oh, look, there's a wave again. I don't care about that. Um, shoot. I need... I'm not getting the thing I need, though. Kind of kind of annoying there. Uh, I'm going to need uh, 70 on those and a whole bunch of weapon levels across the board anyways, and I don't really feel like calculating them, so we're just going to... What's low and what's not? Uh, V-bombs were low, so we'll just get V-bombs. Regular bombs, don't care. Charge? Charge? Well, <laughs> charge has got to get done that. Uh, and I want to get this to 70, because that pretty much will cover both of the things that is that I need to worry about getting to. And then there's the experience mod. We're going on that front. Let's go ahead and just boost up the regen mod because we might as well. Oh, no. We don't worry about that because it doesn't cap. Uh, more life. Yeah, more life. Great. The engine mod is already maxed out at 15. Um, so now I could look for weapons, but all these are garbage. Okay, so gravity fields. No, gravity fields I did. Let's learn it. <clears throat> so th the planet's dead. So now, all of the genies on the ship, of which there are, I guess there's only two now. Ginny was also one. So, you had two, and then, actually you had three, I guess. Arika was also a genie. Uh, the captain, who then bravely flew out into space and was like, Oh, so this is probably a trap. Oh, shoot. This is the stage I need that weapon for, and I don't have that weapon. So I just, uh... Totally picked the wrong stage entirely. Uh, do you have the chain? You do not have a chain, so I need to do Forbidden City instead. I think I remember this sort of thing. <clears throat> or I could just keep jumping out and back. Oh, uh, this stage is horrible. Because being able to determine where the, uh... Where the walls are becomes pretty difficult at times. When your shield is fully charged up, uh... You can see it has that nice blue glow to it, so you can kind of use that to determine where walls are, it's not great, but it's the only real option that you have, so you kind of just have to work with it. Oh, nope, don't do that. 
And yes, you can gradi skip through some of these walls as well. We don't want to, because some of them are very, very large, and that does not end well for you, the player. Nope, stop it, stop it. <laughs> what are you doing? No! Hit detection is very weird. When you have trouble seeing the walls, it makes it harder. <laughs> uh, trying to fire off the things that I can through walls as best as I can. You don't want to be wasting your overdrive on, like, the stage. <laughs> Honestly, a lot of times stage is the more difficult part. Maybe you should be wasting your overdrive on the stage. And I'm way behind on drinking my coffee. I got a full, like, one and a half of these to go, and I'm already on the third section. Woo. So, yes, no, anyways. Um... <clears throat> planet's dead, and yet you continue just kind of moving forward towards that giant wall on the right side of the screen. <laughs> because as it is explained to you, uh, yeah, at some point in time, somebody decided to give um, the, the very wish-generating creature, gave it sentience, and then it started to hear what everybody was wishing for across all of space, and was like, Nah, nah, I'm killing everyone. <laughs> the, the old, uh, the old Ultron method of woof. No, thank you, sir. You all die now. Which, yeah, I get it. I, yeah, I get it. I don't agree with it. I don't like it, but I get it. Ooh, I not mean to hit that bullet. As you can see, that bullet hits hard. So I need to be uh, a little bit. Yeah, if I'm back here, I could hit you with lasers. I can hit those bullets. Let's go ahead and do this to restore our overdrive real quick. So we do still use the laser. Ha ha. And as I get closer to it, saw mines for the higher damage. Ooh, that's for shields. I want that. Hey, look at that. Cool. I still need that final hidden gun, though. Yeah, even, even the people on the ship are like... So what are you doing anyway? Like, I uh, keep moving forward. <laughs> Nafarini and Swing. First time you actually get to talk to the big bad of the game, who is also a possible love interest. Don't think about that too hard. Why do you still not have any? I need the chain. It's right there. <laughs> oh, you're hitting me with all of this. I can't do the ring. Anyway, uh, Living Heart. We'll just go in here. Right -o. Last time we're going to see the Living Heart. Um, well, yeah, I mean, look, okay. The genies were, you know, immortal, functionally. Uh, constantly just, you know, making wishes against one another because they're also incredibly petty individuals because, I mean, everybody can make a wish. Hey, why not? So, you know, the planet that they lived on, constantly changing and checkered and weird and wonky and all that jazz and... So yeah, the, the, one of them says, well, what if everybody could make wishes and have their wishes heard and granted? And so the thing that was actually making the wishes is like, oh, well, you're all dead. Uh, and then also uh, blew up the planet and escaped to regular space. Um, oh, I'm sorry, blew up the planet and is trying to escape to regular space. So it can then murder everyone, everyone. Um... So here's your first unfortunate spoiler towards one of the endings in the game. Uh, it was Johnny who made that wish, <laughs> who is also like the, not necessarily the prime genie, but he was one of the super, super, super old ones. And like everybody in the game is related to him. Like they're all descendants of his. <laughs> he figured out a way to... Uh, to not die, which is you willingly give up a portion of your power uh, to somebody else, and then the genie's body just naturally reforms in the next instant to uh, kind of just prevent itself from uh, dying. That was a lot of damage I did not like. Um, and then the body will be fine, and the genie will be fine, but he will no longer have any powers. Um, Johnny was the one that was like, yeah, I wanted to go see the universe. It was pretty cool. Met this normal human chick. And I was like, man, I wish she could have some wishes granted too. And uh, in order for that to happen, <clears throat> uh, the, the the star wish had to power up 
what's called bliss. That's the thing that is uh, granting the, the, the wishes. Had to power up bliss. Uh, Whatcha also gave it sentience. Not good. Uh, and that also caused it to then, you know, start hearing all of humanity and all the wishes that they were trying to make. Not good. And since it was growing in power and was able to think, it then pulled the Ultron and destroyed the planet of the genies, trying to find everybody else, but since it's locked at a place past time, can't get back to the regular universe to try and take anybody out. And then guess what happened? Nefreti's like, but I really gotta go back to my home planet, otherwise I'll die. Well, your planet's already dead, so there's no way you could have known that, and that's not good for you. And uh, well, we're all gonna die anyways, because you just opened a portal for Iblis. Good job. Um, so, <laughs> so Johnny screwed up. Nefreti screwed up. Ginny screwed up by getting the rest of the star shards and then handing them off to Nefreti. Swig had a star shard. He blew it. Um, everybody else on the ship is fine. Oh, by the way, this is the final boss. <laughs> These are stages that we... This... <laughs> Hey, little big. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what am I doing? It's supposed to be Nefreti. Oh, it's supposed to be uh, Tessa, but I, I went with Dead Eye instead. Great. <clears throat> Weapons Lab. Do you have the thing? I hate you so much. Go buy more things. I'm going to fill that hole in my heart. I have to get to 80, right? Do I have to get to 80 or is it 70? I gotta get to 70. No. Wait. Yes? I'm bad at numbers all of a sudden. I don't know why. Whatever. I'm gonna get to 80. Or, yeah, okay. So we're fine on 80. We're gonna, the, the things that need to be capped out are capped out. And then I'm just gonna go with 5. No, hang on. This is a regen. Why not? And health. Yes. No. I still have the things. I still can't do the thing. I don't... You threw off my notes. Not Lucerne and Death Jungle, Forbidden City. I did Forbidden City. So it's Spiral. Spiral. Great. We have to just go fight the Rocket Snail. This time you can't actually... Uh, during the normal sections, uh, the first two times that you find him, you can actually take out his eyes, the things that are spewing all of those bullets. Um, so it makes the fight a lot easier. It's also a lot slower because you're not, you know, killing the boss. Uh, this time, the eyes have such an absurdly high amount of hit points that <clears throat> you're going to be wasting a tremendous amount of time trying to blow them up, so... Well, it's a good thing I've already got practice on just fighting the boss then, yeah? Okay, let's... Can you guys get out of my way, please? Thank you. Oh, no, enjoy the music. It is a shame that those other two tracks didn't make it in here. I mean, if I ever win the lottery, I mean, I'm not going to tell you, but there will be subtle signs like, hey, who's bankrolling a, a you know, a high-end version of this game to be put on Steam with, you know, full voice acting for all of the characters and everything? And why'd they dump themselves in as a separate character who dies in the first five seconds? Well, I thought that part would be funny. <laughs> Who's this guy with the glasses who won't stop talking and then, like, just swing? Oops. I accidentally shot him. Sorry. <laughs> uh, good stuff. Good stuff. Not like I have a death wish or anything. I just find it hilarious. How usually the, uh, the author inserted something is... Well, I mean, it could be egregious, like, Shyamalan. Hi, I am the writer that saves the world. Like, dude, come... Dude, what? Stop. I like the idea of, hello, I am the writer, I'm going to, Ooh! Did that guy just insta-die? Yes. All right, cool. We didn't like him anyway. <laughs> All right, what am I doing? What's happening? Rocket snail. One. Two. Three. Four. Move. One, two, three, 
for... Ow, a move. Nope, nope, yeah, it was a move. Yep, yeah, okay. I was going to say, hang on a second, don't... Don't you make me question my own notes when I question them enough on my own. How dare you, sir? Yay, new skill. What is the new skill? Ah, uh, defense now adds to shield stacks. Yes, please. <laughs> this is what lets me survive most of the stuff in the end game. <laughs> All right, what am I doing? Uh, da, da, da. There's, there's Tessa. That's the one you want to see. Oh, by the way, Nefertiti keeps stealing your lunch. It's just a thing she does. Chain, thank God. Finally, I can, I can finally do Remains of Lucerna. Woo! I don't really need anything else here, but uh, my shields now are, uh, like, twice as strong as they were before. Um, is there anything else I had to have in the way of weapons? What's my spread at? Uh, spread's fine. Missiles are probably garbage. No, that's... God, this all sucks. This is all terrible. Why are you... Great. So, I needed... Oh, the name of the planet is Lucerna. So now we're flying around the remains of it. That's why this place is like 90% asteroids. This is the oops all asteroids of stages. Uh, and there are a lot of things... There are a lot of asteroids that are in north-south locations. That there's not much you can do about it. Um like directly above and or below you and uh, you either you can just have a ton of health and try to plow through them like that but not very viable and we don't like that like yeah see like we start getting I'm gonna stop saying like I promise we get into these sections you're relying on your sub weapons maybe you drop an overdrive it also severely lags the game out <laughs> uh like, yeah, you can, you can body tank those things if you've got enough health to be able to do it. I wouldn't suggest it. <laughs> but having the chain... Now I'm just going to start singing uh, Fleetwood Mac, aren't I? Um, having chain, great. <laughs> very, very good. Um, not damaging, but hits everything like that. So very, very useful. We like that. We should use that. And it's it's... Like I said, it's not a requirement, but it's kind of a requirement. <laughs> you can see it here, like, oh no, please let me do the thing. <laughs> I would prefer not to just run into you. It's not my preferred method for blowing things up. <laughs> oh yeah. This is a preview of, uh, of uh, another stage coming up. The last, uh, I think it's a swamp? Which is funny, because there's literally um, no... Uh, it is just the vacuum of space. There is absolutely no uh, terrain. And then you fight the wisp. So it's just enemies. It is just drones flying at you and trying to blow stuff up. Warning, mining ship. What does the mining ship do? I don't remember. Is this just like bullet hell and lasers and rocks? Is that what this one is? I think it is. Yeah, it is. So this is going to be way more rocks. <laughs> it's kind of, uh, kind of annoying. Oh, goodness me. Syphil and Ollie. Syphil and Ollie show. Rock! Oop, oop, it's just, yeah, let me just... I'll just stand in the laser then. I'll just do that. Okay. Yeah, no, that's, that seems like the exact kind of thing I would do. Uh, great. So at this point, the end game is the star shards are being held inside the. Uh, oh, sorry. This this came out in uh, 2011, so not exactly retro in terms of time uh, long ago. But this is definitely uh, yeah, never read you. Um, but this is definitely in the spirit of that kind of shooter. Plus, also the cool RPG. Now you got chains everywhere. You son of. Well, that's a good saw miner. That's a good scatter. Well, do I need the scatter? Eh, it's all right. It's a plus five. I'll take that. I'll take the saw mines. Um, I guess I'll take the charge. My bomb is at 23. It'll power you up, too. Why not? <laughs> Machine guns are very low. I can't even get it. Oh, well. Can I afford anything here? No, but I've already capped out everything I need to be able to complete the game. So I'm actually uh, back up to where I need to be now, I think. To the Yeah, just go to the swamp. Great, I can do the swamp. 
literally no terrain. It's just enemies. So you just wind up using saw mines and chain uh, to kill everything as fast as you can. That's pretty much how this stage goes. Yay. So I hope you like every enemy in the game. You're going to fight every enemy. Not bosses, but every enemy in the game. You're going to go go deal with them. God, that lag. Why? I, I still don't know why that happens. I find it very annoying, though. Uh, and then you fight the uh, the Wisp, who fires many more bullets at you. He is not a fun person. He is a bit of a jerk bag. I do not know why I'm talking like this. Okay. <clears throat> Look, it's catchy. I like it. You hear this music for 27 stages in the game, and I don't care. I like it. It's good music, and it's catchy, and I enjoy it. I just want to line these up, so I'm hitting two, and then also getting that nice little, uh... Uh... To have the saw blades just on you and grinding you down like this. I can hit two of you right here, but now there's too many bullets. Right, I should probably be killing the other guys too. Kind of making this a little bit untenable. Down here, just a smidge. Good fun, good times. All right, let's go. What am I doing? What's happening? Who's on first? I don't even know. I do have this chain. I wonder if it's any useful on these things. I wonder if it's just going to horrendously lag out the game while I attempt to fire on anything. <laughs> yeah, not great. Let's go ahead and go back using the saw mines then. <laughs> uh, warning. 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 <laughs> yeah, thinking, oh no, 1980 is old. Ah, uh, man, I got real bad news for you there then, don't I? <laughs> yeah, I always, I always think I'm going to be able to be just fine on that dodge and then that dodge. I'll take the bullet. The bullets won't one-shot me. <laughs> the, the wisp will... And then he eventually starts getting smaller and smaller on his circles because he's a butt. Uh, Niblis is also slowly causing you to go insane. So, you know, a little bit of Cthulhu action going on in there. What do I got? This is just Nefridi. Just Nefridi. Look at that. Cool. Not worried about missing anybody in there. Uh, anything good that I need? Probably not. Well, look at that. Look at that machine gun upgrade right there. Oh, yeah. Look at that V-bomb upgrade right there. Uh, just you gotta make sure that your numbers are up so that you can still talk to uh, Deadeye whenever she shows up otherwise you can just buy more mods and just have more health or regen or whatever again like I don't the regen is through the roof right now I don't need to worry about spending it on any of that so we're just gonna go with more shields because why not uh, maelstrom yes no what's correct oh no Ugh. so this is the equivalent of being under the ocean. So you actually, like the, the submersible stages, so you you move slower, and if you have maxed out uh, uh, movement speed, your engine mods, it's not exactly noticeable like in the previous two places. Here it's very much noticeable. And you still have to go up against the, uh, the boss that uh, slowly just tracks at you. And since you have a much harder time of moving towards that boss, eh, not a good time. Or, I guess more specifically, moving away from that boss. Because <laughs> he gonna hurt you. X gonna give it to you. What? Forget Wade Submersible's gonna get you on your own. I don't know why I tried to work Submersible into that. X gonna give it to you. What are the words there? What are the actual words? Knock, knock, open up the door, it's real. Non stop, pop, pop, stainless steel. Alright, so maybe I should be focusing on killing the things at the uh, edge of the screen. The things that have a lot of health and continue to shoot me. You think that might be a good idea? I think that might be a good idea. <clears throat> good on health and shield stuff. One of these days, I'm sure I will wind up attempting the hardcore mode. I'm not going to like it. <laughs> oh, one hit KO. Nah, I think I'm good there. Well, one hit 
pass the shields. So, man, you're going to have a lot of points in the shields because there ain't no point in putting any of it into your health. Although when you do get that uh, health equals shields, that might actually make it uh, viable. But I still don't know if I've ever successfully actually beaten Iblis without taking a hit. I usually rely on, okay, get that overdrive out of the way as soon as possible so it will hopefully recharge fast enough that you get a second use of it in the fight. Because one of you is not going to last long enough to see a second use otherwise. <laughs> so, submersible. Innovate. And run away! Probably should just keep using the saw mines. I think even them hitting behind me is going to do more damage than worrying about trying to. Hello, mouse! <laughs> I'm trying to sneak in some chain hits. Ah. Man, Iblis is being a real jerk. I don't like it. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, it's also solo Nefreti, so we're not missing anything here. New weapons. Do these all suck? Thanks very much. What do you have two charges at 56? What are you doing to me here? Uh, is it ruins or high school? Yeah, it's high school. Of course it's high school. <clears throat> of course it's high school. This one's like literal mazes. Ugh. Like, the, the game has actual... Oops, you picked the wrong route, so... Uh, you get to enjoy that then, don't you? Not not fun. A little bit of a scummy tactic there, game. I don't appreciate it. Thankfully, I can pot shot things as they're coming at me. Yeah, like right here. You don't take the middle. <laughs> like, oh, oh no. Hey, that's not cool, game. Why would you do that? Meanwhile, I'm pretty sure this one is the middle. Um, actually, this one's all three. Just a long hallway. Let's just lag the game out, taking out everything in front of me. Ow, ow, ow. Don't run into walls, please. Yeah, I should probably be yeah, actually killing that guy instead of, instead of getting fancy with the... Getting crazy with the cheese whiz. Yep. See, that, they should have let that one extend a little bit further forward so you would think, Ooh, I have to go down this time. And that's the, that's the fool's gold that gets you. But they didn't. Oh, well. <clears throat> Shoot, nope, don't, stop. <laughs> Please stop getting stuck on the walls. <laughs> I am stuck on walls right here because walls are stuck to me. <laughs> also want a Band-Aid. Yeah. Mostly for my poor, wounded ego. Uh, oh, I actually... See right there, would have lost the uh, the, the, the one-hit challenge. Because it took... The taking many hit. Could you stop hitting the walls, sir? Oh. <laughs> hit detect's great. Love it. Good stuff. Can I get them? Yeah, okay. Yay. Blow these up, please. Uh, I'm not going to be able to rush back to grab that shield, am I? No. No. This this time the Crystal Dragon will actually charge at me. I don't like it. Yeah, like that. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Oh! <laughs> Fires more bullets, has more stalactites coming down from the top of the screen. Give me that. And now he charges at you. What a jerk. <laughs> Thankfully, it doesn't have a huge amount of health, but still, come on, man, what are you doing to me here? <laughs> Ow. Sir, please. Sir, please. Probably could have just used an overdrive to get myself back up to full, but eh, we're good. Uh, I'm not going to lose sleep over it. One more area left to do. <laughs> oh, scroll. Dead Ends is called Getting Echoed the Dolphin. 
Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. Well, I'm already level 62. All right, so this is going to be Nefertiti and Johnny? Thought I was supposed to have Nefertiti and Mare here. Interesting. Well, it still works. So I need Mare, and that should be it. Um, more bloody saw mines. Thank you. Any good missiles? Is it just missiles, or do you have scattering? Well, I'll take the missiles. Oh, I do need a spread for this boss. So I've got the spread. Cool. Great. Worst stage in the game. We're all surprised. Yay. I'll just keep pushing health at that point, I guess. Uh, yeah. Um, great. Ancient ruins. Clap, clap. This place sucks. <clears throat> Yay. Right, so I do still need to be using the chain to hit a lot of these weird wonky sections of things that are going to be coming at me. And they all explode into bullets, because of course they do, wouldn't they? So we're in another section of, hey, what's up with the walls? I can't tell what's a wall and what isn't. Eh, you know, good fun times. That's just how it goes. Um, but after this is the final boss, and hopefully we one-shot him. We're probably not going to one-shot him. I'm on, I honestly might just hedge my bets, grind a couple of quick extra levels in the swamp off of just, you know, the, the dearth of enemies there, try to get a better saw mine, make sure I have my uh, overdrive built up, and then just walk in and uh, try to plow through them. In theory, that is what is good. I mean, you're not going for a not going for a world record, considering that ended about a minute and a half ago. Um, yes, but having that faster shield regen is going to help me recover from stupid mistakes like that. Um, <clears throat> but the routing, I believe, is secure to get the true ending. Everybody gonna have a beach party. Um, should be. I don't think I missed anything. Hopefully I didn't. Uh, yes. If I did, I don't know. I'll just pick a person and woo them, I guess. <laughs> One of the people that you can uh, woo is, uh, you know, the, the big drunken panda who fires the ship's cannons. Um, who lost his entire galaxy when Nefreedy blew it all up. Because that's just kind of what she does. Um... You know, trying to get us back to here so we could all see the destroyed, ruined planet and go, look what you did. And you made a portal so the bad guy could get out. Nefreedy. Okay, so I guess it's not the worst stage in the game, but it's definitely terrible. Worst boss in the game. All right, so Angry Router. What are you going to do to upgrade him? Well, how about we give him a sword? <laughs> He's now just going to try and stab you. Don't think about that. Don't think about that. <laughs> All the lights are lit up. That means you have internet. You know what else? <laughs> what else would you have? You have the mother from Conan. Or is that the father? I don't remember. It's one of them. I'm gonna. Oh yeah, he can still go all the way up. I kind of forgot about that part. Well, I was just trying to recover my shields a bit, but if you're going to be a jerk about it, geez. Now, let's just go ahead and do this to recover my shields a bit. Get all those shots off. Which, they're not landing a huge amount. The, the entire reason I brought the spread is so that I didn't have to worry about aiming nearly as much as I could worry about dodging. And, well, since I'm doing a great job of that as well. Oop, sir, sir, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Still haven't died yet. No longer necessity, but haha, -ha, still haven't died yet. Oh, look at that! Oh, you tried. So, final boss is now active. We're level 64, which tracks. That's about where you should be. Um, Nefreedy and Mare. Those are the last two. So, that should be all of it. So I'm on 60. I'm on a 61. Oh, there's a 61. Okay, that's good. Uh, nothing more in the way of other good weaponry, I think. Pretty sure. I don't remember. Um, unfortunately, I do need a uh, 
I do need to repower up um, my overdrive. That would be very, very useful. So I'm going to grind against... Well, I'm going to grab these. I'm going to have to grind against some rocks. Really pounding the shield away, but that's okay because it charges it faster. Who knows, might get an extra level out of this or something. Normally I would have gotten to it by now. I should, should probably have picked a different stage than this one. Okay, well we've got our overdrive. I don't think I need to worry about doing the shields all the way back up, so we're just going to do that and escape from combat. Go over here, go to the weapons lab, see if you have a better saw mine. You do not, but you do have missiles, which you don't really use on this. It's whatever. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna use missiles then. Ah, oh, what the hell? Let's go fight Iblis. Final boss music. I'm just going to let the music play while I focus. Yeah. We should be getting that mouth laser soon. Nope, I died. That was fun. Okay. Um, we'll want to go ahead and grab just like a level, maybe two. Might just run this like once and that should be enough. Um, the extra life, the extra damage, uh, is enough to be able to clear it. At that point in time, we will be done. Hooray. So, uh, there's nothing I can easily like grind damage against to try and post up my uh, overdrive. So I'm just going to be waiting on... Oh, I've completely forgotten to do my mods, too. There's, there's so many uh, so many things you don't need. You know what I totally need when I'm fighting the last boss in the game? Item mods, experience mods, money mods. You know, de definitely things you totally need for the final boss. <laughs> uh, but I'm, I'm just going to do this until I get... Uh, so I'll get my overdrive built up, and then we'll go back, fix our mods, go back in. Hopefully have another level. All that jazz. Okay, so that's the overdrive. Alright, let's go. One last trip to the weapon shop. Yeah, I'm going to take it. Cool, 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 great. Gotta fix our mods. Do you have saw mine? Tell me you have a saw mine. No, you have a saw mine. <laughs> not gonna use those missiles either. Okay, so let's just grab some more of these. Great, so I'm not going to need, let me see, uh, item mod, moolah, experience. I'm going to want uh, health? <laughs> that looks good. Let's go fight the boss. Whoa, hey, sir, sir, please. <laughs> that, I can't open those out. That was right in my face. <laughs> Ow. Ha ha, you missed. Like it. Oh, I'll just sit in that laser. I'm sure that won't hurt. Ow. 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 We haven't even gotten to the big mouth laser yet. Why am I why am I doing so badly here? And there's the big mouth laser, of course. He has an overdrive too, as you can see. Which he actually just kind of uses on a timer. Oops. Do that and take out that ship. I guess I should have said flashing lights warning. That's that's on me. I should have mentioned that. But I mean, it's shooter. Kind of assumed, but you, you shouldn't assume. Um, someone's back. Oh, why did I go up? Why did I go up? Don't go up. Up is never good. Up is no bueno. 
<sighs> oh, come on, lasers. Iblis, why, why are you doing this to me? Please stop doing this to me. Uh, get extra bullets everywhere. I don't like this. I do not like this at all. Please just kill him. Please just kill the boss. Eh? 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 You can do it. Yeah! Time! Ladies and gentlemen, all right! So, all right. Now, the real test here, to make sure that I actually clicked on everything I was supposed to, with every all the characters, is... There it is. I have nothing to wish for. We have unlocked everybody's ending, but instead of going for all of that... Because you beat the big bad thing that was creating all the wishes, and its final parting gift is, well, I'll give you a wish. Well, that's not a good idea. <laughs> wish for anything, huh? You're not doing anything crazy? Nah. So in turn, she gives everybody something cool, like pretty much what everybody wanted to have, and then also brings them to the end of time to apologize about everything. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank you. Anyways, we all go to the beach and have a wonderful time, and that is Star Wish. Hooray! <laughs> Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right. And I saved y'all like five minutes. Anyways, that is me. That has been fun. Congratulations on completing RPG Shooter Star Wish. I hope you enjoyed it and had a wonderful experience. I did! So that's it. That was me. Thanks, Raps, for the love. Thanks, y'all, for having me. Stick around for some Klonoa. I never know if I pronounce that right. Cl Klonoa. Klon Kung Klondike Bar. Stick around for that Klondike Bar. Okay, cool. So that's it. That's for me. Y'all let me know whenever I'm out and all that jazz. I'm going to sit here and continue drinking coffee. Thanks, y'all.